Hey guys, I bought this cell phone booster a while back. I have a safe room in the back of my house as well as a, a back bedroom next to the safe room and I don't get cell phone coverage at either of those. I have a Verizon SIM card through Straight Talk, so I downloaded an app on my phone that said that it does use band 13. So this amplifier is made for signal booster or whatever. It's made for um, band 13 only. And this is a directional antenna, so I'm gonna mount this outside on my porch and run some wires and then uh, see if it's any good. Okay, so I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put things yet. So I pulled a vent down and I've got the antenna kind of hanging, pointed in the direction that I think I want it to go. There's a highway running across here. You can hear the cars and there's a tower that way. So I've kind of got it roughly pointed in that direction. And if this works, I'll mount it right against this wall right here pointing that way. All right, so here's how I get into my attic. I have an extension cord run up. Let's go up here and look. I got kind of an interesting attic. So you see I've got a roof here and then another roof up there. So this was done before I moved in. This is a double wide and it's had a safe room added on that way to that wall. And they build a um, wrap around porches so this is the ceiling for the wrap around or the attic for the wrap around, wrap around porches so this is all added right here and then there's the original attic for the double wide and then that's an added roof up there so it's a double roof it's kind of neat but um so here's the device up here I do have power I don't know if you can see it down there see those yellow wires some of them are for the uh, porch lights but some of them are for the ceiling fans and the ceiling fans are uh, powered all the time and I also don't use them so I could add outlet to that without having to run anything but um let's go on up there and look at the where we're gonna put it okay so I'm standing at the peak of the roof you can see that's where we ran the wire to the front porch and then we just came up here on the back porch so I'm going this is the room under here under where I'm standing is where I'm trying to get reception. So I'm gonna run that that coax just over to here and power it up off that extension cord. And then we should have plenty of distance from the antenna to the booster. Um, I think it requires 20 feet or something like that. And that should hopefully not only get a signal into this room under here, which is what I'm looking for, but maybe also my safe room, which is, there's a little access right next to where we are so I'm gonna do that now okay so I'm here at the access to my roof again or my attic again and you can see there's the device I have the extension cord run to it and the antenna hooked to it so um, I'm gonna go down and see if uh, see if this works well I'm hoping this works fine this this main roof on top is actually a metal roof which is why I don't get good reception probably so this will at least get the signal under the metal roof, hopefully. So let's go see how that works. Okay, so I'm sitting here in the room that I want to have service. I'm going to use this app called Network Cell Info Light. And uh, you can see it's really weak and it says GSM Band 8. So this is definitely not working at the moment. I have one bar. So either I'm getting, I have the antenna too close to the booster or the antenna is not faced towards a good tower. So let me go adjust some things and I'll be back. Okay, I moved the booster a little closer to the back back of the house, but really the main thing I think I did is unplug it and plug it back in because I think that since I was up in the attic, I had it powered up before I had the antenna plugged into it. But um, I'm not exactly sure if that's the problem or not, but it seems to be working great now. I only moved it a couple feet, so I don't think that's necessarily it. So yeah, you see it's negative 108 dBm. It's normally like around negative 130 and, and not working. So here it at least seems to work. It's really close to the green. Let's kind of do a speed test. This is with Wi-Fi off. I do have my Wi-Fi off. Okay, so the test results. Um, 2.1 megabits per second download and 502 kilobits per second upload. 
So let's go back to the gauge. So this is my safe room in here. And I normally don't get any service. That's where I normally make my videos. And it's less, but it's certainly still getting a couple bars. So that looks pretty good. This would be the first time I've ever had service in here. I don't know if it'll work or not. But uh, here, I guess we can we can run a test in here. See if we get anything. Okay, so it's obviously a lot slower in here. We've got 1.3 megabits per second download and 117.6 kilobits per second upload. So let's go to the kitchen and compare it there and then I'm going to unplug the booster and we'll go back to the kitchen and probably the the uh, the other room, but I don't I know it doesn't work in here. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen. Um, this is, I don't expect it to have much of an impact on this side of the house. Um, it's not really why I got it, but we might as well run the test since we're doing this. Okay, so here in the kitchen, we got 9.3 megabits per second download and 3.6 megabits per second upload. So much quicker. Like I say, I don't think that has anything to do with the booster, but um, run the test because I'm going to go unplug the booster now and we'll go back through these. Okay, so booster is now unplugged, still in the kitchen. Okay, download 7.8, upload 3.8. So still really good with the booster off. So the booster's probably not contributing anything to this side of the house. Okay, well now we're back in, in the room that I, that I got the booster for. So before this was 2.1 megabits per second download and 502 kilobits per second upload. There you go. Network error. And then, of course, if we go in the safe room, we're going to get the same result. Yeah, no service in here. So it's definitely not making my uh, sell service as fast as it is in other parts of the house or outside, but it does make it work, which is the one thing I wanted. So I would say for my purposes, this thing is completely adequate. So thanks for watching. I, I, I'm going to move it, the antenna around some and, and move the receiver around some, and, and if I can get any better results, I'll add more to this video. But as of now, I think it's probably that's probably what I'm going to get, and this is probably the end of it. So I will uh, see you guys next time.